What an exciting sunrise safari it's been, filled with lots of wonderful, wonderful scenes. And the vultures continue to descend upon this kill. And I'm going to be very surprised if a hyena or a lion doesn't pop onto the scene shortly. Though both of the latter will look up into the sky and notice vultures descending and head into those areas knowing that there could be an easy meal. For now though, the vultures are all waiting patiently and the cheetah are gobbling up as much of this topi as they can, as quickly as they can. We've repositioned and got into a wonderful spot to be able to actually capture the vultures coming in and landing because they are landing into the wind which is blowing from us towards the cheetah so they have a nice slow soft landing Didn't catch your name there, but somebody would like to know what percentage of kills will Cheetah actually be able to keep for themselves and not have stolen. It's going to fluctuate and vary hugely on luck, on the group of Cheetah that you are, are, are following, the area that those Cheetah are in, the density of lion, leopard and hyena in those areas. So there's no set statistic for that and it will fluctuate greatly, even if we were to follow just this coalition and how often they manage to finish a kill as opposed to have it stolen it would vary from one month to the next so a tricky one to answer in my experience with them they've finished more kills than they've had stolen or they've been able to eat the majority of them so they've definitely not been having more kills stolen than compared to that that they're able to finish but I was told, I mean, in the week that I was gone, I think they had two kills stolen in two days from either lion or hyena as they took them down. So it will vary. Now, what I'm hoping and what will be an incredible scene is if these cheetah decide to chase the vultures one last time because they'll chase them straight towards us. We've got the sun in our favor. And we'll get some incredible views. For now, though, it seems like their number one priority is feeding. And that does make sense. Because as frustrating as it may be for the cheetah to have all these vultures around them and with the knowledge that they could be attracting other predators onto the scene, their primary goal needs to be to eat as much of this meat as they can. And they're doing a good job at it, that's for certain. They were certainly hungry, even yesterday evening they needed a meal. Oh, vulture flew straight through the shot there quite perfectly. I wonder how much longer this windy weather is going to persist for because it's notably windier now the last five days than it's been for the whole few months that I've been here. Come on, D'Artagnan. No, not interested in chasing the vultures for us.